Hello everybody, it is Misty from Join the Journey and the podcast Joyfully Homeschooling. And right now it is August and we are in the midst of homeschool planning. And one thing that we are doing different this year with Daniel is we are going to be doing beautiful feet books around the world in picture books. And I'm super excited. The book is gorgeous and I think it's going to be the perfect introduction to gentle history with him. But one thing that I noticed as I was going throughout the book is that each um, chapter in each country they focus a little bit on animals. And as you all know, we are huge, huge, huge fans of Apologia. I've got all those zoology guides. Um, we're huge fans of Apologia, and we were actually planning on Daniel doing Apologia this year for science. But, alas, he is a little bit fidgety, a little bit active, and sitting down and doing Apologia as it is written um, did not work well for us last year, and I was kind of a little hesitant to see if it was going to work out well for us this year. So I got to thinking, and I thought, you know what? Using Beautiful Feet books as our history spine and adding in animals from different countries from Apologia is like the perfect gentle approach for him and they coincide together really, really well. So this past week, I have been spending time going through the Beautiful Feet books picture book guide and going through the zoology land animals guide and coordinating animals that are mentioned in the Beautiful Feet books guide and the animals in the zoology guide and putting them together to create a seamless study on history and science around the world. And I'm super duper excited about this because we are also studying um, countries this year in our co-op. So everything is just coming together perfectly and I really wanna share it with you all. So um, if you are thinking, wait, that sounds like an awful lot of work, then believe me, I'm going to lay it out for you in just a minute, step by step, exactly how to do it. Um, also, if you do not have all of the Apologia guides, because I have the land animals, swimming creatures, flying creatures, um, but if you don't have all of those, just think about focusing on one. So I'm gonna go over that with you here in a little bit. So this year, we are really only focusing on land animals but you could pull plants from different countries that are mentioned in the Beautiful Feet Books Guide from the Botany Book. You could pull out insects and flying creatures from different countries that are mentioned in the uh, Beautiful Feet Books and study those. You can do the swimming creatures from the oceans. There's so many ways you can do it. You can really still focus on just one book, and that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to only focus on land animals this year from the different countries, but you could use any of the guides that you have, any of the Apologia books that you have. You really can seamlessly, I promise you, put them together with the Beautiful Feet book, picture book um, guide, because I'm telling you, this is going to be a super fun year, and I'm really, really excited to lay it all out for you. So I'm going to share with you step-by-step step exactly how you can create your own lesson plans coinciding the two curriculums. Um, and then also, I'm going to share in a blog post. So if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, then make sure to click the link that's associated with it, because I'm also in the blog post going to lay out three different countries um, so you, to get you started to where you don't have to do what I just spent the last week doing, you can take my plans for the first three countries and put them together with your own books and do it yourself. And then that'll kind of lay the foundation for you to continue on the rest of the book on your own. So I kind of took all of the work away for you. So yay me, <laughs> but I was really just so excited about it and wanted to share it with you. So now let's go over step by step exactly how to do this. Okay, so I wanted to share with you real quick exactly how I was laying this all out. So what I did is I took <clears throat> and I focused on a couple different countries to start off. So we focused on China, Japan, Ghana, Kenya and Tanzania. So these are the ones we started off with. And the reason we chose these countries is because they're the ones that our um, co-op is going to be focusing on first. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I did. So you can see I took the guide and, and in the Beautiful Feet Books guide, they mentioned different animals. So this is China. 
So it talks about the giant panda, the cormorant, the java sparrow, and the pangolin, okay? So I wrote those down on my piece of paper there that you just saw and decided I would go through the Apologia Guide and see if there's anything mentioned. So let's also go ahead and let's go back here to the back. And so here in part of Africa, they talk about a hippopotamus, a colobus monkey, an African lion. Um, also throughout the book, they also talk about different plants. So we do not have the botany guide, but I kind of wish we did um, because you could also do this with botany. So if you have a child who's really excited about plants, then you could also do this with botany because they also mention different plants throughout. They mentioned the ba baobab tree. They mentioned the bonsai tree. Um, there's a couple other ones that I noticed that they mentioned throughout. So that's what I did. I went through the Cures Japan, Pufferfish, Red Crowned Crane, Mandarin Duck, and it was super easy. I just went through, chose the animals that they talked about, um, and wrote them down. Also, throughout the book, you can see in some of them, just from the pictures, different animals that they talk about, or you can pull out keywords. Like I pulled out um, Sea of Japan, East China Sea, I pulled out animals of the Serengeti, and those are also just keywords that I know that we can look up animals from as well. And in the um, Beautiful Feed Books Facebook group, I've seen a lot of people ask um, about different ways that you can add science, and many people have suggested that they're just going to go to the library and get different books on these animals. Well, let me tell you that that's a lot of work in itself and I promise you purchase one Apologia guide look these animals up and you're gonna it's gonna be a lot easier than pulling out um, a bunch of different books on different animals going to the library making a lot of different trips so I'm not planning on doing that I'm planning on doing exactly what I'm getting ready to show you so okay so one of the ones it mentioned is talked about was the cormorant so I'm looking here at my flying creatures of the fifth day I look up Cormorant. So I went through my Beautiful Feet Books guide, wrote down a couple animals, came up with the Cormorant. So it is on page 50. So I'm going to find page 50. There it is. So I know that when we are studying, I believe this is China, when we are studying China, I can go through and I can read some in the story of Ping. Then whenever I want to do science, I can read this section on the Cormorants from my Apologia book, and we just added in a little bit of science. I can also do the science experiment right before this, where it talks about waterproofing a feather. I can do that with my kids, and then I can talk about how cormorants do not waterproof their feathers, but other birds do, and this is how they do it. So super easy peasy. There we go. That's it. So let's look at another example. Okay, so now we're going to talk about animals from Ghana. So I went through the book, just like I showed you before, pulled out different animals that's mentioned whenever we're learning about Ghana in Beautiful Feet books. So I go to my handy dandy Apologia land animal guide, which land animals is actually what we're going to focus on this year. And I'm going to go to the back, look up the word hippopotamus. And there it is, page 168 and 212. So we're going to go to page 168. And look, there we go. Whenever we're learning about Ghana, we can go ahead and also read about hippopotamuses. Talks all about hippopotamuses. And another cool thing from the Land Animals books is it talks about maps. So right there, here we are, Africa. So here are some other animals that live in Africa that we can also learn more about. You can also compare tracks, animal tracks. So that is super cool and another thing that I love about Apologia and combining Beautiful Feet books. So let's look at another example. So also with Ghana, let's look up the Colobus monkey. Let's see, is Colobus monkey located in my Apologia guide? There we go, colobus monkey on page 102. 
So again, I don't have to track and look up a bunch of different books from the library. I have it all right here in my guide. So there we are talking about colobus monkeys and other different types of monkeys that live in the African safari. All in just a matter of minutes. So that is how I plan on setting up my Apologia and Beautiful Feet books combination for history and science this year. So I am going to lay out for you step by step in the blog post the first couple of countries and exactly the pages you need to look for, the guides you need to look for, and also what science experiments you can add to this study. Okay, so what did you guys think? Like, are you feeling pretty confident about it? Did you have questions? Um, if you have questions about anything I just went over, please, please, please leave them in the comments. Um, here on the video wherever it is you're watching it leave it in the comments on the blog shoot me an email misty at joy .net, and I will answer those questions because I'm going to be going through this throughout the year right alongside with you guys so if you come across any questions you're finding this in the middle of the year not sure exactly how it worked out for us leave comments I would love to chat with you about it also if you decide to go ahead and purchase an Apologia guide or the Beautiful Feet Books guide because of this video, then I would really, really appreciate it if you use the referral links that's linked up in the notes because that is kind of a thank you to me for sharing this information with you and I do get a small percentage back from those companies for talking about their products. But I assure you, any any curriculum, any product, anything you see on across anything at all associated with my blog or podcast, I promise you we use those products. I do not endorse or talk about products that we do not already use in our homeschool because I just feel I want to be completely honest and transparent with you guys. So if you do decide to purchase any of this curriculum, then I would thank you tremendously for using my referral link because it does help support this blog, the podcast, everything that goes along with joining the journey. Oh, also, if you see this homeschooling my tribe shirt and want to grab one to wear this school year, I will leave a link to that as well. So it's a great way to showcase your pride for homeschooling. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope it um, encouraged you to create your own little lesson plan and to combine Apologia Science with the Beautiful Feet books because I truly think that we are in for a super fun school year and I can't wait to get started. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye.